him today. As soon as he saw the axe thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fine people of North Shield and beyond. Noble friends all, some royal. For those who were not in attendance at this morning's court, the axe which the Comtesse is holding at this moment was a gift to her from their majesties, Anne and Broder, for her loving service and having observed the fervor with which she looked upon the axe, the axe from the 15th century, which Her Majesty's champion traditionally holds. They recounted to us stories about how she even took the opportunity to place the axe when she got her hands upon it on her bed on the pillow next to her while she took a nap. How copiously she drooled in looking at the axe. This is what they told us, that they were, after all, my king and queen of blessed memory. By court's end, there were a chorus and a verse. Ginevra took an axe as her beloved. Ginevra <laughs> took an axe unto her bed. But no one raised a stink, for absolutely none could think, lest her beloved take offense and their head. Lord Shield, she has a sword like any kingdom. But her queens, so many years, have had an axe as well. Cunyavra, when she ruled, fell in love like many fools. And so they say, she covered it in drool. Cunyavra <laughs> took an axe as her beloved. Cunyavra took an axe unto her bed. But no one raised a stink. For absolutely none could think, lest her beloved take offense and their head. Could never find a way, pray to desire. Word of her love had traveled far and also wide as well. That axe drew her like a moth, will take off thoughts of jewels and cloth. And oh, my dear, I pray you clear. That frog. <laughs> <laughs> never took an axe as a beloved. Could never took an axe unto a bed. But no one raised a sink, for absolutely none could think, lest her beloved take offense and their head. Our Jenny Green served and our queen and Frodo Stone. They knew her well, saw her eyes dwell upon their acts, oh well. They knew what they must do, to not even cry, oh poo poo. Put her axe in her arms, and on her arms, thus too. Gunevra <laughs> took an axe as her beloved. Gunevra took an axe unto her land. Lest her beloved take her offense and her heads. A fact upon which I was counting. Mindsy approved it. Mindsy approved it right away that morning and said, Oh, I hope you're going to finish that. Finish it, finish it. And that's when I knew I hadn't yet gone too far.